is under the baton of conductor Clay Price. Clay is a senior music producer for Disney Live Entertainment and Disney Cruise Line. He was a recipient of the Walt Disney Legacy Award in 2011. He is also the founder and artistic director of Encore Performing Arts.
also a guest narrator, John Stamos. Here, I'm not sure if you know this, but Walt Disney began the tradition of the Cadillac Processional at Disneyland over 60 years ago. Guests have enjoyed the Christmas story, the traditional carols, and especially the glorious music of the holiday season. Now, some of you may know me as a Disney geek. Do you have any others out there, nerd, Disney nerds? How about my Disney adults? You know, I first set foot in this magical place close to 35 years ago. I came here as a boy. Today, I stand before you as a husband and father of a five-year-old. Boy, if you would have told me. And most people know our, our son is Billy Stamos, but uh, my, my, my wife and I, our love for Disney runs so deep that if you check his birth certificate, it reads, Billy Flynn, Fauna, Huey, Louie, Dewey, Daisy, Mowgli, Pooh, Abu, Tigger, Tiger, Bob, Iger, Lilo, Stitch, Stamos. It's all up there. Last night we were, uh, let you like it The choir's waking up. Last night I was laying there in bed with my son and we were saying our prayers and I said, Billy, what should I say at the opening of, of the show? And he started rambling so I turned my recorder on and it goes like this. only jacket and his crummy Aramis cologne. I smelled terrible. <laughs> and I had uh, this mullet, looked like a dead crow, landed on my head and trying to pick up chicks and I was failing miserably. But if you told that boy one day that he'd be on stage here at Disney World hosting the candlelight processional, I just wouldn't believe it. God has been so good to me. I'm so full of gratitude, I can't tell you. It's just incredible. told me that I'd lose one of my best friends, Bob Saget, in the blink of an eye. I didn't believe that either. But here I am still processing this deep sense of sadness and loss. The last time Bob and I were here together, we were shooting an episode of Full House, the two episodes, the two part episode. And uh, one night, I remember uh, Dave, Bob, and I, we dressed up in those one onesie, Tigger onesies and the silly big character costumes. And being here tonight, I was trying to remember specifics. You know, I was trying to think what day was that? And maybe just the feelings kept coming to me, you know, the way we felt, the way we had fun, we laughed and we felt easy and we had that unspoken love that grows between grown men dressed in ridiculous pajamas. <laughs> as Winnie the Pooh once said, any day spent with you is my favorite day. Every day I spent with Bob at a Disney park was my favorite day. Let's cherish this moment with our loved ones and our new friends and the Disney magic. Time is precious. We can never reclaim those moments with the people who matter most in our lives. And sharing this memory with all of you tonight, this is my new favorite day, so thank you. To all my friends and all my fans out there, I thank you very much. I hope your dreams come true just as you've helped me realize mine a thousand times over. You make my life brighter. And I hope to reflect some of that light right back at you tonight. So let's begin. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin who was betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and he said, Greetings, O favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, trying to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, 
for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus.
same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they, filled, they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord.
them into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let's go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told to them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds had told them.
they had seen went before them till it came to rest over the place where the child was. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
joy of being human is to love one another. And when we share that love, that is the greatest gift of all.
something different to everyone. Across languages and customs, we all have traditions that we hold dear. We pass them down and share them with one another at every opportunity. Because ultimately, the message at the heart of all celebrations is a simple one that stands the test of time. That song was originally written as a prayer for peace, but it was saying sort of slow. And one of the verses that sticks out to me is the, is the second one where it says, There is just one moon and one golden sun, and a smile means friendship to everyone. Though the mountains are wide and the oceans divide, it's a small world after all. What it says to me is the moon that's shining here on our kids tonight is the same moon that shines on the kids on the other side of this world. And we pray tonight for those children who will never have a chance to walk through the gates of Disney. And as we leave here and head back to our cars, let's carry this goodwill that we feel in our hearts tonight. And let's let it shine and inspire goodness in others out there in the world. Our world, our country, our communities need it perhaps more than ever. And let's continue to dream for a more peaceful, less violent world. For my family and yours, God bless you and Merry Christmas. <laughs> 